Hello and welcome to a video that will walk you through how to record manufacturing transactions. After viewing this video, you will be able to identify the journal entries made by the financial accountant and record the adjusting entries to move product cost out of expense accounts. You will estimate and record manufacturing overhead incurred to make products and adjust the estimate to actual cost. You will also record the movement of costs from work in process to finished goods to cost of goods sold. First, let's talk through the steps that occur when products are manufactured. Direct materials are purchased and moved to the production line. Direct labor works and manufacturing overhead costs are incurred. These transactions are recorded by the financial accountant as they occur during the month. Manufacturing overhead expenses are moved from the expense accounts to a temporary manufacturing overhead control account to later be moved to work in process. An estimate of what it costs to make the products is used to move manufacturing overhead costs into inventory because the actual cost to make each product is not known. The estimated cost is compared to actual manufacturing overhead cost and adjustment is made to get the manufacturing overhead in work in process to equal the actual cost. All product costs are moved to work in process first. These costs are moved to finished goods when the product is completed and then to cost of goods sold when the products are sold. Let's look in detail at the direct materials account. Picture this account as the materials sitting in the warehouse. Purchases are added and materials moved to production line decrease the account. The ending balance is recorded on the balance sheet as the asset inventory. All product costs are recorded in the inventory account work in process. The cost of direct materials used and the direct labor worked are actual cost because it is easy to determine how much is used. Manufacturing overhead is estimated. Apply means to estimate the amount of manufacturing overhead used and move it to work in process. The estimate must be adjusted to the actual cost at the end of the period. The ending balance is determined by estimating the value of goods still remaining on the production line. The difference is the cost that was finished during the period. These costs are moved to finished goods. Finished goods is the third inventory account. Beginning is the value of the goods ready for sale at the beginning of the period. Cost of finished products are transferred from the work in process account to the finished goods account. The ending balance is determined by counting and valuing the finished goods remaining in the warehouse at the end of the period. The difference is the cost of goods sold to customers. Goods sold to customers are moved to cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is the cost of goods sold to customers during the period, just as it sounds. The balance is reported as an expense on the income statement. The financial accountant records the initial transactions. Direct materials purchased are recorded to the direct materials inventory account. Direct labor works and is recorded as an expense. Manufacturing overhead costs incurred are also recorded as an expense. All product costs must be and should be recorded to the inventory account and not expensed. It is the managerial or cost accountant's responsibility to, to move these product costs out of the expense account and into work in process. The managerial or cost accountant makes adjusting entries at the end of the period to move product costs to work in process so they are not expensed in the period incurred. The amount of the direct cost is easy to determine. The direct materials move to the production line and the expense of direct labor working is moved from these accounts to work in process. Manufacturing overhead is an indirect cost and it is not possible to determine the actual amount used to make products. The manufacturing overhead rate is used to estimate the cost incurred to make products during the period. Let's review how the manufacturing overhead rate is computed. A manufacturing activity that causes manufacturing overhead cost is chosen. The activity required to manufacture one unit is multiplied by the total units expected to be made to get the total estimated activity that will be used to make all the products during the year. Total manufacturing overhead costs are divided by the total estimated activity to get the cost that is incurred each time the activity occurs. 
The manufacturing overhead rate, which is the cost every time the activity occurs, is multiplied by the actual quantity acti of activity that occurred during the period to get the estimated amount of manufacturing overhead cost incurred to make products. The estimated amount is moved from the manufacturing overhead account to the work in process inventory account. The first step is to move the overhead expense to a temporary account until the estimate of the cost to make each product is made. The estimated amount is then moved from the temporary account into work in process. The second step is to move the manufacturing overhead cost to work in process. The amount of cost moved to work in process is the predetermined overhead rate multiplied by the amount of actual activity. The estimated amount moved to work in process will not equal the actual amount. A true up or adjustment to actual is necessary. The next entry for manufacturing overhead is to make the estimated amount that was moved to work in process equal to the actual amount of actual overhead cost during the period. Under applied means that the amount of estimated cost moved to work in process is lower than the actual cost. When this occurs, the difference must be added to work in process. Over applied means the amount of estimated cost moved to work in process is higher than the actual cost. In this case, the cost in work in process must de be decreased. This entry will make the amount of manufacturing overhead cost in work in process equal to the actual cost incurred. Manufacturing overhead tape takes four steps to record. Let's review. First, the financial accountant records actual manufacturing overhead expenses to the individual accounts, such as rent expense, manager salaries, utilities expense, etc. The managerial or cost accountant then makes adjusting entries to move the product cost to be part of inventory. All manufacturing overhead expenses are moved to a temporary holding account. Third, the estimated cost to make all products is moved to the work in process account. This is done using the estimated overhead rate. Fourth, the estimated amount moved to work in process is adjusted to be equal to the amount occurred during the period. The production costs are moved out of work in process and into finished goods when they are ready for sale. Costs are moved to cost of goods sold when products are sold to customers. Take a moment and read through the information and the transactions we will record in this example. We discussed entries made by the financial accountant and the adjusting entries made by the managerial accountant. In this example, we will record entries as if there is only one step rather than two. Direct materials used and direct labor costs incurred will be recorded directly to the work and process account and manufacturing overhead expenses will be recorded directly to the manufacturing overhead temporary account. The first transaction, materials purchase, is recorded by the financial accountant just like any other asset purchased. Direct materials are moved to the production line and recorded as work in process. The third transaction records the use of supplies. Supplies are indirect materials and are part of manufacturing overhead. We will combine the financial and managerial accountant's journal entries into one, which was recorded directly to the manufacturing overhead temporary account. The next transaction is to record direct labor worked on the production line. The first entry is made by the financial accountant and the second entry is made by the managerial or cost accountant. This moves the cost to be part of inventory. Manufacturing management costs are manufacturing overhead. We will combine the entry made by the financial accountant and the managerial accountant and record the cost directly to the temporary manufacturing overhead account. 
Rent is recorded directly to manufacturing overhead since it is also a manufacturing overhead account. Transactions 7 and 8 are period cost incurred. The financial accountant records these expenses. Other manufacturing overhead costs such as utilities, janitorial expenses, etc. are recorded together to the temporary manufacturing overhead control account. This entry is a combination of recording the expense and moving the expense to the temporary manufacturing overhead account. Salesperson salary expense is a period cost and is recorded as an expense by the financial accountant. The next step is to move manufacturing overhead costs that are in the temporary account to work in process. This is called applying manufacturing overhead. A manufacturing overhead rate is used to estimate the amount of cost incurred to make products. Total cost divided by the total estimated direct labor hours is the estimated cost of manufacturing overhead every time a direct labor hour is worked. Direct labor hour is the overhead activity. The company estimate is $6 for every direct labor hour worked. Given the 16,260 actual direct labor hours, it is estimated the overhead cost to make all the products should have cost $97,560. This amount is moved out of the temporary manufacturing overhead account and into work in process. The temporary manufacturing overhead account now has a debit balance of $640. The total manufacturing overhead actually incurred was $98,200. The amount estimated and moved to WIP was $97,560. The estimated amount is lower than the actual amount. Overhead is underapplied because the costs moved to work in process were too low. The underapplied amount must also be added to WIP. The manufacturing overhead account must end up with zero. It's just a temporary account. The total actual cost divided by the total actual quantity of units manufactured gives the actual cost for one unit. The cost for one multiplied by the units on hand is reported on the balance sheet. The cost for one multiplied by the number of units sold is the cost of goods sold reported on the income statement. Product costs are reported on both the balance sheet and the income statement. After viewing this video, you should be able to identify the journal entries made by the financial accountant and record the adjusting entries to move product costs out of the expense accounts by the managerial accountant. You should also know how to estimate and record manufacturing overhead incurred to make products and adjust the estimate to actual cost. You should also know how to record the movement of cost from work in process to finished goods to cost of goods sold. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. Recording manufacturing cost is in the job costing section. Practices you learn will give you examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the other practice tests to verify your understanding and check your answers to those provided. Please write out your answers. It will help you really get it. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.